Thanks for coming on the show. Ah, thank you for having me. <laughs> Our pleasure. Um, so today we're going to talk all things neurohacking and biohacking. Um, and you are from the wonderful Neurohacker Collective. And yes. Uh, yeah, yes. So um, tell me a little bit about yourself and also tell me a little bit about Neurohacker Collective and also it's sort of how you got involved with um, the team there. Sure. So we've been around for a few years now. Um, and in prior to that, we were in research and development for almost two years um, before we even opened the doors and launched uh, any of the product. The CEO at the time, um, a friend of mine who I'd started several other startup companies with. So when he got involved with this group, it was him and two other brothers that were the co-founders. He called me up out of the blue and wanted to talk and pitch me on what they were doing. So I met with him and he's a phenomenal friend, one of the most brilliant thoughtful, caring people on this planet, and I adore him, so I, I was up to catch up. He told me about what he was working on. I was intrigued, um, and then I met with the two other brothers and were just blown away by the, the compassion and empathy and the, what they were searching and, and trying to do with this. So my background, early, early backgrounds in film. I was in film school and went to lived and worked in Hollywood and that stuff, and then quickly got into the technology side of film and video and, and streaming and things like that worked for several different technology startups and loved the startup culture, but was looking for a challenge or just something different. So when this kind of popped in my lap, I was very interested in, in what they were doing. And the big picture of the Neurohacker Collective was, and this is no more uh, timely than right now, was the world has a ton of challenges that we need to solve and we need people that are up to the task of doing them. And people are searching for products and solutions and hacks or tricks to get an edge and to be alert and to get that focus and demand that the world asks of them. What we saw was they were turning towards a lot of off-label and white-label prescription drug solutions and a lot of other products that provided some of that to them, but at a dramatic cost uh, mm -hmm. and a negative cost towards their health and their ultimate well-being. Then we saw people searching and wanting something more natural, more, um, complete where it's not hijacking or robbing their system but supporting their system and how it naturally regulates and functions and can provide all these things because our world just demands so much more of us today than it did 10 years ago 20 years ago 50 years ago and we haven't evolved to be able to meet that need but the world demands that of us and we're all super busy and now we're in this fun worldwide pandemic of learning <laughs> what mm. that means and learning how to slow down and doing all this stuff but still having to work and now having to um not only work from home for those that are lucky enough to, but also um, teach and watch and educate and entertain their children at the same time while this is going on. So there's just a ton of stuff being asked of us and people are looking for those optimization techniques and tricks. And what I saw and really fell in love with, with this company was not just the products were amazing and they were the very first time I tried it, but the bigger picture of what they were going for was to support and work with the body and how it naturally regulates and functions. And this is one of the reasons our products work so well is the design and thinking behind them is all around this complex system science. We want to take information and research from multiple disciplines and bring it together to better understand how the body does what it does and how we can support it in doing that. So we're not just hijacking it or robbing it or supplying it with endogenous chemicals to get these limited results, but really working on getting those results you want, but building up the system to increase the capacity and the resilience of that system. So people are happier, they're healthier, they're more focused, they're more involved in what they want to be involved in, they're more present when they're around with their work and with people. And these are the kind of people that we need in this world to solve the large problems facing our world today. Mm. Oh my goodness. Wow. That was a lot. That was amazing. Thank you. <laughs> no um, yeah. It is very That's how fitting I got into time. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is a f yeah. very fitting time. And I fell in love with the company. Um, and we're just speaking about it off off, um, well, off camera. Um, and it was in London last year that I first tried um, one of your mind, um, so your Qualia mind. And I couldn't believe how effective it was and how quick it act acted um, yeah. on the mind and for uh, cognitive purposes and getting me through all those lectures that we had that we were listening to over the weekend. Um, and I did, yeah, we, we did meet there and it was, um, yeah, it was impressive. And even just the, the quality and what the, 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 the amount that you, or the amount of people that you have involved in, in research and development and community, which is so amazing. I love it. Yeah. I, <laughs> I've had an um, obsession with uh, neurohacking or cognitive optimization for a while, um, being a, a lecturer and uh, a naturopath and with clients, always having that, that quick 
recall of information is really important to me. Um, and so over the, over the years, the more information that you get into your mind, the more you want to be able to access it. And so finding yep. those, um, you know, and also being able to cope with the daily stress, which also comes in line with, you know, when you're stressed, your mind stops working <laughs> properly. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so this is what I find so powerful about the products and the nootropics that they're um, enabling you to access it, but without giving you or um, stopping your body functioning correctly. Like you said, it does it doesn't set you back. It sets you forward um, and gives you what you require for that base function. So um, tell me a little bit about what nootropics are um, or what you believe they are and how they can help um, and what neurohacking is in a sense. You know what we do. Absolutely, yeah. So we started with uh, nootropic as our first product. It's called Qualia, and we have several different variations within that Qualia line now. And we started with that because so much of your decisions and how you live your life starts with uh, your thinking and how you process things and what you aim to do and all the, all the mental things that your body naturally knows how to do. You know how to mm -hmm. focus, you know how to process information, you know how to do memory recall, verbal recall. Your body knows how to do all these things. And we knew so much more was possible with the right research, with the right formulation. And we knew, like, as you mentioned, it has it feeling it work immediately. This is one of the remarkable things about our product, especially at trade shows where I love meeting people is I'll mm -hmm. give them a sample in the morning um, or on the first day and come back the second day and they come back and their eyes are they're big and they're bright and they're like, well, I didn't believe you at first or I didn't, yeah, what I didn't know what this was all about. They have a sense of get that experiential learning of like, oh wow, tell me more. And they're excited. Um, so we knew, so yeah, nootropics as a category is just uh, supplements, uh, ingredient, chemical designed to help enhance cognitive function. And also with the caveat of to do so without doing any harm. So you're not robbing Peter to pay Paul type of thing. You're not getting this boost at first to then have a caffeine hangover, you know, later in the day where you have this ultimate crash and you're out of it for several days in a row. There are definitely categories of drugs that do that in this space. Ours was, we knew it had to work immediately the very first time you take it. It couldn't be something you have to build up for weeks in your system because nobody was going to do that. Mm -hmm. At the same time, we wanted to provide both the short and the long-term results. So you get that first boost immediately, right when you take it, feel it the first day, it feels phenomenal. First week is amazing. It gets better with use. So as you continue using it, you'll start to notice new effects that didn't show up as strong in like month two that showed up in month one. So you'll start to notice mm -hmm. new things come in. The other thing, which is really amazing about our design is the longer you take it, the better it gets. And the longer you take it, the less you need of it. So it's not something you're going to get desensitized to and uh, dependent on. Rather, it has a reverse tolerance. So the longer you take it, the less dose you need to take to continue to get it to maintain those benefits. Mm -hmm. This is all caveat against um, this. You have to keep your system healthy um, to do this. This is not a quick Absolutely. fix, short pet pill. And a lot of people think this is. They see the movie Limitless or they see, you know, some things on TV <laughs> and they think this is. They can drink all they want, go out party, sleep an hour a night, and then pop a pill and be, you know, be as themselves and sharper the next day. And this is not that category Absolutely. at all. Absolutely. I agree you totally. Need to make sure you're doing the foundational work first. So this is proper sleep, good diet, exercise, all the foundational things. Then with these kind of technologies and tools and tricks and nootropics, you can get a massive optimization increase. But everyone, you know, when we're talking about biohacking or neurohacking, the foundational work of just existing and being a human has to get done. And you mm -hmm. need to do that before you go down the path of optimization or some of these tools. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm actually creating a course at the moment for base health because of that reason is that I get clients in and they want that quick fix, that magic pill. And I said, well, it's Everyone's not going done. to get digested, absorbed, you're, you've got, you know, gut bacteria that are um, out of balance. You've got, uh, you know, it, it, all sorts of issues with your stress and your lifestyle and you're not exercising, you're drinking water. All that has to come in before any of the other things can help or even get into your cells or even get into your system yep. in any way. So it's super, super important and sleeping, especially with the brain, I think is super important as well. So with, with, uh, with Qualia, one of the main products that you have there, uh, well, with, with, with the, the nootropic, what, what's sort of the main focus of where you think it makes its difference in that instant result? Um, it's, it's interesting. It's so comprehensive of a formulation and there's our, compared to other products, our uh, Qualia Mind, our flagship product, has 28 ingredients. Most other nootropics have somewhere between 2 and 12, kind of like in their stack, what they call a nootropic stack. So stack mm -hmm. is just simply 
combining ingredients that synergistically work together. So mm -hmm. caffeine and L-theanine is a big uh, one of these things. So your caffeine obviously gives you focus and energy and kind of lifts that spirit, um, but it can also cause you jittery and have that crash and all the things. So the L-theanine kind of softens that, it prolongs the extent of that and kind of softens that crash so you don't have that and give, brings that calm focus into it. So your focus, you have this energy, but you're not that hyper jittery thing. Mm -hmm. um, our product is has all these ingredients because it's designed to support the entire system and how it regulates and functions. And you're not just one part of your system. Like you are not just your focus and you are not just your verbal recall. You are all these parts of executive function and cognitive function that make up who you are and how you process your thinking and your work and all these things during the day. The it, it's phenomenal. It's super fun. I love going to these trade shows, especially meeting people face to face and hearing their stories of how they, um, their experiences of qualia. It's even better when their partners with them, they get to hear their partner's experience of their, mm -hmm. of their partner with qualia. And it's always amazing. Like one, two punch, the things that people commonly say and commonly experience, like the first time they take it in that first week is they get that flood of uh, focus. And for me, um, this showed up as it like it just wipes out my procrastination that that physical barrier just to get started becomes like the ground and I can just pick up on a task get started on it and I have a, all this energy all this mental energy all this focus all this drive to work on it complete it put it down and I can move on to the next one without any hesitation in between so like task switching is phenomenal as well and you just you just get that rush of focus and you feel good and you feel happy and you just get a ton of stuff done and it's, it's just it's remarkable and one of the other things I love about connecting with our community and hearing their experiences is hearing the same sentiment spoken across different kind of languages of, based on what they do. So early on, executive CEO, people with high stress jobs you know, that are, you know, have to be constantly on love this product. We also found a very natural home with artists and producers and musicians. Mm -hmm. And they would tell us the same, they would tell us similar things, but they would say it as this quiet or this silence, my inner critic. Uh, so that, that voice of procrastination that would hold them back from creating would kind of just quiet, it would quiet, quiet or disappear into the background and they could create and focus on the work they wanted to create. And they love that because of that. Um, ongoing, one of the other things we always hear, uh, especially from women, about the quality of products is they tell us that it levels out their emotional roller coaster. This is kind of <laughs> that emotional resiliency piece coming in. Mm -hmm. This showed up strong for me in month three of the product. I could really feel this kick in and this showed up for me as things that used to annoy me, distract me, come into my world and get under my skin and piss me off and take me out of my work or take me out of my focus. Now just show up and roll off my back and I can mm -hmm. like choose how to respond to that. I have the, you have that moment of pause where you can choose whether you need to address this respond to it or just you know focus on what you need to be focused on or be present on who you need to be present with and like that clicked for me and it was just like a game changer of i could do and i could do so much more with that tool and i could be so much more present and with my family just having that having that click for me which was phenomenal mm, amazing and it's because it, it is such an extensive list of ingredients in there and we sort of um, it, it goes through a lot of the um, separate amino acids, doesn't it? We've got mm -hmm. some of the, the fatty acids in there as well. Um, there yep. is caffeine, but like you say, it's balanced out well with the um, alternatives like L-theanine. Um, so there's, what, there's, what other base and, ingredients are there in there that are like the focus? Sure. Yeah. So there's 90 millig milligrams of caffeine um, mm -hmm. and it's, about, it's a little bit less than a small cup of coffee. For mm -hmm. those that are caffeine sensitive, we do have a completely stimulant free version as well. So we do offer mm -hmm. a caffeine free version for that. Um, there's the ingredients are phenomenal. If you're in like geek, kind of like I am, like we go very deep into the research um, on all of them. So you can go to our website, neurohacker.com slash formulation, where you mm -hmm. can find the ingredients on there as well. And we list yeah every single one, what they do, how it does it, what research we've developed or we, we found located, developed, and we published all of that. Mm -hmm. And we were linked to all the studies on each one. So you can really get a sense of that. We also have a kind of booklet of how this product was designed. And it talks about the mm -hmm. synergies between those ingredients, what pathways they work on, what part of the pathways they work on. So we have different ingredients that both enhance one another, then we have different ingredients that work to limit one another. So it limits, mm -hmm. it kind of rate limits it at certain parts of the pathways that it goes through to depending on which kind of uh, effect we're going for, where we want to increase it or we want to limit this effect to arrive at a short time versus a long time. There's a lot of different of the design of timing uh, aspects of these things because it's a phenomenal product in that you take it in the morning and you have energy all day and you don't 
one of the biggest things that I loved from it early on was I would come home after getting just a ton of work done, super busy, super productive day. And I'd come home and I wouldn't need to sit on the couch and just like collapse and just have mm -hmm. this like moment of decompress because I'm just mentally exhausted. Yeah. I, could, I could come home and I still had energy and I could work on projects or play with the kids or just be present. I didn't have to have that just crash moment of like, all right, my day is just, you know, Kind of done. Coming down on you, but yeah. working across uh, all these ingredients and we're very very particular on the form of the ingredients and the bioavailability of that so mm -hmm. one of the reasons our product is so expensive is we didn't consider the cost of the ingredient going into it we wanted to set out to create what is the best product we could absolutely create like what mm -hmm. is the best ingredients out there that we have access to that we have research on what is the very very best form of those so it's the most bioavailable pure quality form to where your body doesn't have to break it down into the form that it needs to do the work that it needs to do yeah. it's in that form immediately so it just kind of gets there this is one of the reasons it just works like you take mm. it and i'm fairly sensitive so for most people we say it'll, you'll feel it you'll notice it within the first hour i'm like within 15 minutes every single time i take it i'm like oh there it is like it's just, it just <laughs> on for me so i'm i'm quasi sensitive to these products which is phenomenal um but you just you just feel that boost you feel that Thing and it just it just feels really good yeah and you don't need to like when i was there at the um, health optimization summit so you, you gave some samples and it's got seven in there i think isn't it and yeah. um yeah so then you you know seven is the dose but you don't really need to take that you can take four and i felt you know three or four was was optimal for me at that point in time so um i guess yeah. it's just working at your your different sensitivity level as well to that or what you already have available in your body and what, how healthy you are probably is that exactly. what nutrition you have available that will add to that so that's I yeah. think, a, a key point as well yeah so yeah a lot of it's your baseline you know what do you what are you starting to work with and then the other is yeah your own personal chemistry and how sensitive you are to it yeah so the recommended dose for quality of mind is seven capsules when i started it i was at like a four or five like that was about the right level mm. for me now when i take it i take one capsule maybe once or twice a week if i take any at all because i just because i've been taking it for a while and that's right. all I need to get in to maintain those safe effects. Again, this is all predicated on getting good sleep and Absolutely. You know, having a healthy diet. I have a four month old at home, so my sleep isn't always the best <laughs> as it could be or as what I want it to be. So sometimes there's, there's days when I'm catching up. Yeah. Oh, how gorgeous. Yeah, kids definitely come with a, a, a beautiful um, uh, love, I guess, or, you know, that, that feeling of, um, pureness but then the, the lack of sleep sometimes sets that back a little bit <laughs> yeah, too little so it's a balance, yeah it's a balance it's a balance um so talk, talk to me a little bit about um what your opinion is on nicotine now that's out there as um one of the nootropics that people have been using um and even some of the other ones that aren't in um, ingredients that aren't in qualia what's your opinion on those yep. um Nicotine, there's a ton of research coming out, which is very interesting. I personally mm. haven't tried this one yet, but I'm, yeah. I'm very interested and probably will um, soon. Yeah. But I've seen, I've read, a, I've read a bunch of research coming out of um, uh, Dave Asprey and others and heard some of mm. his personal experiences with it as well. There's a lot of different um, chemicals and ingredients like, uh, I don't know if I like that, but that are in that edge of um, trying, I'm just always uh, cautious, especially when you hear the the, there's concerns around, you know, the, uh, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Addictiveness yeah. of some of these things. And you, again, finding and maintaining that balance. There are certain um, ingredients and things will, I'll do once a month kind of type things. There's like, there's a, a type of chemical in the eutrophic space called racetams. Yes. These are the ingredients or these are the chemical, uh, research chemical category. So mm -hmm. they're not quite a supplement. They're not quite a, pharmaceutical or kind yeah. of gray zone of research supplement you can there's weird laws about how and where you can buy them and things like that mm -hmm. um having the right combination of those with quality is phenomenal it's like mm -hmm. a laser focus thing but i'll do it like maybe once a month or once every a few months because mm -hmm. it's the type of thing where you need to get a ton of stuff done and you just really want to get in that zone there's certain things that i get to there i'm always cautious and want to maintain good um, balance with your systems so you're not yeah. pushing it too hard too long at any given time and you want to give it that rest with all of our products uh, we recommend cycling and we recommend this for most everything throughout your entire life so whether it's just caffeine or exercise or anything else your body um, 
needs that cycling just to rebuild. So whether if you're working out in the gym, you don't necessarily want to be working out seven days a week. You need those rest periods to give your muscles a chance to repair that broken mm. down tissue. That's how your muscles rebuild. That's how your systems and your synapses rebuild. You need to have those cycles. This is why we sleep. This is why we rest. You need these down periods. So pushing yourself too hard all the time with all the latest tools and technologies, whether they're nootropics or other things, you just want to make sure you're finding that healthy balance and remembering why you're doing this, not to push yourself to exhaustion, but to find that edge that gives you the, the tools that you can get all the stuff done you want to get done in your life. Yeah. Yeah. It's not an excuse just to um, keep pushing forward and then um, burn out at the end. That's not the point of the, the nootropics. And I think some people tend to use them that way and then wonder why at the end that their nervous system is, is not coping or not keeping up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah the yeah, the trick is not to just always do more, but give yourself the tools to do the things you need to do, but also give yourself the tools and the time to find that balance and to figure out it's, it's, life's just not always about taking on more and more and more. And this downtime of COVID is kind of a nice reminder of that. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. I think it's making people realise so much that we do need more time out. And the more time out you get, the more productive you get and how much more sharper you can be if you actually have more time down. So yep. I, I, that's something that's come out of it for me as well, you know, doing a little bit more meditation and taking more short breaks and, um, you know, concentrated work time is really important for mental clarity and mental focus. And I believe that even these products can give you that focus in things like meditation or just relaxation or mindfulness because you do become more mindful when you're more focused. So, yeah, absolutely. Now, I just want to track back a little bit. Tell me a little bit about the Rastans. So you said they, um, they can help focus you a little bit better. So I know there's a few. There's like Paracetam, there's Anaracetam, there's Oxaracetam, there's, oh, I can't remember, um, can't remember the other ones, but <laughs> I know there's yep. a few. Where where would you be looking at? Which ones would you be looking at um, using over the course of time? Sure. The, yeah, there's there's a dozen or so of them. Yeah. And then Rastatam at the end. Yeah, that's a fact <laughs> them. Um, each, it, it, people report different things. So one of the fun things about uh, neurohacking and just the advent of where we're at with technology and biohacking is the notion of, N equals one experiment. So people can now have access to these tools and technologies and experiment on themselves, but do so in a responsive and empowered responsibility sort of way to where they're not just taking random drugs, but they're uh, doing the research, they're determining the right dosages, they're experimenting, and then they're sharing those results, tracking and sharing those results. So we can follow along and connect with all these citizen science people online, which is phenomenal and a huge part of our beta testing community where we have access to not only all these people doing these tests, but now there's so many different technology gadgets and things like you have the, the, the whoop bands and the aura rings and all these mm. things that track personal metrics that we never had before. So we can determine taking these products, does this to my sleep? So I can see the data on these aura rings or I can track my variable heart rate or I can track like all these things. So the advent all these of all this stuff coming together has made neurohacking and biohacking possible and flourish in these communities that are doing these research, doing these experiments and sharing with one another. The Rastatams are definitely in that community. The ones I've tried, we have a blend uh, at work that we play with that we've been um, doing, which is made of five different ones and I couldn't, I don't know that I can name all five, but I think you named like three or four of them okay. that, are, <laughs> that are the ones in there. And again, everyone reports different um, experiences. I've seen, you know, you can say, name one ingredient and I could find internet forums of you know 100 different people having 100 different experiences depending on how they dosed it when they dosed it what uh, type of comparing ingredient to ingredient what form there is so it's kind of hard to say i can't tell you which one i'd recommend i uh, i get to one of the fun parts of my job is i get to experiment with new products or do <laughs> things and or <laughs> random people just show up at my desk with a with some pills and go here try this tell me what you think of it <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, um, they're one of those yeah they're one of those interesting things and uh it's for the experience of it for me is like quality times 100 like it's just mm. you have that focus but it's just like a real laser driven focus so if i ever have like a super busy day where i want to get i just have a way too long to-do list or just have a, a big project to throw myself at that might be a day when i'm taking these things it's not it's not the type of thing where you want to take it and go sit on the beach or go sit on the couch and watch netflix like yeah you're gonna have this drive uh, and focus to to do something 
Yeah. Um, I, I've, I've experienced, I've tried um, the paracetam. So when I took it, it was um, like I could keep going all day. And I will say I've got, I, I think, I believe I have a pretty good base level. You know, I've got good um, minerals coming in, good vitamins, good digestion, all that sort of thing. There's like this um, complete focus. And I would only take it when I'm lecturing. I've got like a nine hour day lecturing. So I'd be taking that and I could access information and just keep going. And there wasn't that big crash at the end. And so that's what I find different to having like, say, three cups of coffee a day is if you yeah. end, end the day with the third coffee, cup, of, cup of coffee with it has its really long half-life, you're either wired and then super tired at the same time and you can't get mm -hmm. to bed. So, um, yeah, but I believe taking it um, too often, um, for me, it was detrimental. So it, it was um, where qualia didn't in that it, 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 I felt it depleted me. And so, therefore, I would just take that. Like you say, it would be a very sporadic thing now where I only have a little, a, a big day or a big project that I need to work on. So, Yeah, it, it works a lot on the acetylcholine pathways and can deplete your system of all the choline's in there. So when I do take it, I'll take it with qualia because the qualia has multiple choline sources in it to help mm. refurbish, uh, refurbish that, replenish that. So I'm not... Yeah drained and burnt out and exhausted and all that kind of thing. So whether it's just a acetylcholine um, source or um, eating a lot of eggs or something with cholines in it or something like that, you want to make sure that you're giving your system that fuel because it can definitely leave you burnt out. Yeah, and with a nasty headache too. <laughs> All right, so with Qualia, with, with, the, with the products that we're talking about, it is it sort of like a one-stop shop? Is that got all your multivitamins and things like that in there as well? Would you say that if someone was having those at a, on a daily basis, would there be anything extra that they would need to be added in on a sort of a, a non-individualised, non-prescriptive type basis with just the average health? Would there be anything extra that people would need? Yeah, for the people that are heavy into supplementation and vitamins and things like that, those people, when they when we talk to them, especially at like trade shows, they'll come look at our product and I'll, they'll look at the back of the bottle and they'll be like, oh, I take that and I take that and I take that. And they realize like they could get everything they're already taking in this one bottle and wipe out a shelf full of 12 bottles and wipe out all that cost. So for some people that are heavy into this, we actually save them money mm. just buying our product. But for those um, that take special things we encourage you to you know look at the label make sure you're not doubling up on anything unnecessarily for, for what you currently take and if you want to take something else on top of that you definitely can um we recommend depending on what you're taking it for what you're looking for if it's another um, nootropic or something like that you definitely can stack it with quality but we recommend trying it by itself for at least a week or two just so you mm -hmm. get a full sense of how it is for you and then you can see if you still need to um, mm -hmm. add something else onto that outside of if there's something on there that you're just not uh, taking that you were taking yeah okay cool so the difference between um i know you've got the mind then the nootropic energy the eternus and the focus well, what are the differences between all of those sure so the qualia line has qualia mind which is like the premier flagship top of the mm -hmm. line version then we have qualia focus which is a subset of ingredients of that so this will provide the same immediate results you'll feel it the mm -hmm. first time you take it you'll feel that focus and drive it doesn't have those ingredients that are working on building that long-term brain health that provide the long-term support for the resilience uh, and building the capacity in the system so it's a cheaper version we're able to take out some of the more expensive ingredients and offer as a way to get people into the product so they can try it and see how it works mm -hmm. the qualia nootropic energy is our latest version of the qualia line in a drink form so think of it like a five hour energy shot so it's energy but it's primarily focused on mental energy. Right. So one of the so things a you'll... very good version of a Red Bull. Exactly. And, then, <laughs> and I'm in love with this product because I can't drink any energy drinks. I don't drink mm. coffee at all. Caffeine doesn't bother me. Um, the caffeine quality is fine. I can drink caffeine and be fine. But whatever the ingredients are in Monster, Red Bull, any of those things, if I have a sip of them, I'm just like hyper and shaky and jittery mm. and just feel like I want to crawl out of my skin. Yeah. And I get none of that with this product. It's just, I get the sensations of quality with just a, a rush of energy and I just want to go work out. Like I love this product <laughs> for running and for exercising. And one of the things, another audience that we found a natural home with, as you're talking about people who take a lot of vitamins and supplements mm. or sports figures and trainers and athletes yeah. and things like that, where they've been taking all these pills and all these vitamins and supplements for their muscles and their bodies and their training for decades and years. And now they're clicking to, Oh, I'm not taking anything from my mind. I'm taking all this stuff. And they're realizing, especially with these products, 
so much of your mental or your physical performance is mental. Like how hard you can push yourself in the weight room in training, how quick you are to pick up on a technique or a rhythm or routine when you're training, how you're able to put those things together to perform on the field or in your sport. All mm -hmm. these things are so much more mental than just your physical muscles and things like that. Yeah. So they're clicking with that now like oh I've been taking all these things for years now I need to take this as well and just in coming back with these amazing stories of how hard and further they're able to push themselves in their training how quick and easy things are coming to them and just kind of ideas are clicking and the routines are clicking and just how stress-free and effortless the performance of these things are in those spaces so all these pieces kind of come together towards that mental energy is really what drives so much of your physical uh, performance and your physical mm -hmm. energy that's, that kind of rounds out the quality line. Eternus is our first product outside of the nootropic space designed uh, into the anti-aging longevity line. So this yeah. is geared around, a lot, you'll hear, you're hearing a lot more things about anti-aging and longevity around uh, NAD+, plus, NMN, mm. all yeah, these Thanks to David things. Sinclair, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We wanted to do the same thing we did for qualia for the cognitive support for your body. And this is designed mm -hmm. to provide energy to the trillions of cells of your body. So what happens as you age and as you break down, your ATP production just slows down and just your cells are working. They just don't have the energy they need to perform the trillions of functions that they do. So this is designed to, again, work with those pathways, provide ATP support to all the cells of your body. So they can just keep functioning, do the things they need to do. It has insulin sensitivity, um, resistance in there, it has uh, mimetic exercise, or it's an exercise mimetic, so it kind of, tricks your body into having those feelings like you've been working out, mm. uh, similar to like fasting, something like that with that autophagy, killing off those old cells, providing energy and ATP to the cells, and then also boosting NAD plus, but not by providing it externally like you would in just an NAD supplement, but working along the multiple pathways that produce NAD in your body, and then mm -hmm. also the salvage and recycle those, because we're able to recapture a lot of that NAD that you make. Um, that your body just recycles um, and goes through. We're able to capture that in those parts of the pathway, reintroduce it into the system. So your body uses and burns uh, your body weight in NAD every single day. Mm, amazing. And so many things to plate it as well, you know, like alcohol and exercise exactly. and all sorts, just general day-to-day -day stuff, like you say. So, this so is, is it... Sorry, is it um, a, is there an actual, so they, so there's vitamin B3 in there, is there, or is it an NANR, or is it, what sort of form is it in there? Uh, it's a lot of the B vitamins, it's the precursors mm. to NAD, so we want yeah. to help support the pathways and the precursors to what creates that NAD in your system, and then how that gets uh, captured up into the system, and then also through those salvage and recycle pathways as that comes around, so at several different pathways, at different parts of those pathways throughout the system, your body is producing, using, burning, and recycling mm. that NAD. We want to boost that entire pathway so you mm. can make a robust system. So it's not just, again, throwing Putting gas on fire or throwing just NAD in the system. Yeah. A lot of that stuff uh, doesn't make it through digestion. When you pass that through and it won't make it even through to the liver, things mm. like that. So it's better to support your system how it naturally functions instead of just kind of throwing stuff in and hoping it gets through uh, the digestion Absolutely. and deliver. So again, our whole philosophy of design is we don't want to just introduce the effects of whatever we're going after at the cost of any other systems up or downstream. We want to support those streams and support those systems to do what your body naturally does. It's your system doing the work. Your body knows how to do it. It just needs the right proper ingredients at the right timing uh, to do these kind of functions. And sadly, most people just aren't getting these things from our diet. Yeah. Even when we are, the modern state of factory farming and things such as our, we just can't get the nutrients we need from our food. Even, even if you're trying really, really hard, unless you're out growing your own food and, you know, and mending your own soil and things like that. It's just, it's a cause of our modern lifestyle. So when we can provide our bodies with the right ingredients, uh, the systems can do the work they need. So the, the Eternus is that first um, step just to providing all that energy so we can have the energy to have the body for functioning as it needs to, to have all the cells doing what they need to, to where there's less of that breakdown and damage and decay, which is like the causing mm -hmm. the signs that show aging happening. You wanna yes. extend that to where you have just more energy to do all the things you wanna do in your life, throughout your life. Mm. Yeah, because when, when, when you're adding in something like a direct nutrient, say like an R, which then converts into NAD, um, once you stop 
once you stop taking that, then the body, you know, you're best off, and I totally agree with you, is building all of that, that base and building your nutrients so your body is naturally producing that. And at a whole level, a holistic level, your body is much more capable of coping with all sorts rather than just putting one single ingredient in. Yep. You, you're then, you know, once you t- take that out, boom, you stop, you know, you've got no changes elsewhere. So I think, yeah, I love that. That's great. Yeah, so those are our products now. Our next product to come out, we're working on a new sleep nootropic. So it's not necessarily a product that will help you uh, fall asleep better, but it's designed to optimize the quality of sleep you get and leave you feeling with that refreshed, awakened feeling like you're just ready to conquer the day. You have that energy, you have that mental drive, you have that focus. It's designed to help optimize the sleep and produce those optimized uh, cognitive fun- functions that next morning wow. that'll be our next product out in i think june uh, is the one we're shooting for and then we have tons and tons of different things in research and development and testing so we have some cool Amazing. stuff coming. so is that sleep one sort of focused around melatonin production and or in, in other areas say that again is the um is the sleep one is that focused around melatonin no, not necessarily. It's, it's not, it doesn't have any, has no melatonin in it, has nothing um, that creates melatonin in the system. It wasn't designed to be like a sedative type of product. And we're, we have research into that as well. So we may do, mm. sleep is one of those really hard categories. We've been working on yeah. this one for a couple of years now. Um, and ultimately it will probably come out to be several different product lines of mm. whatever the specific sleep issue is whether it's falling asleep quick getting back to sleep if you wake up having longer quality of sleep like all these and what, what we've found in testing too is there's so much variance between groups of people this product may work great for half the group and work terrible for the other half of the group depending on what their sleep hygiene habits are what their issues are you know all these kind of things Absolutely. so yeah this first one is designed really for that just that um enhance the quality of the sleep it's a product you'll take around dinner time Um, it's not necessarily designed to make you fall asleep quicker or make you tired doesn't have those uh, kind of uh, ingredients in there for that but it's really designed to do some of the work of qualia uh, in your mind while you're sleeping to where you wake up and have this you know you wake up refreshed not foggy clear you have that mental performance uh, energy that qualia would give you but in Mm. that nighttime formulation Mm, interesting very very cool like i'll have to watch that space then <laughs> i love reading all the research around all this stuff it's really fascinating yeah when it one of the nice things we do also is we always publish all the research we do mm. on the, both ingredients and the product lines themselves so whenever we, we release a product we release just a ungodly amount of education and information to go with it that I'm not sure anyone ever takes the time to read because it's so much stuff and you can go <laughs> deep down the rabbit hole of this content. We have phenomenal researchers and doctors, so it's very cool. I geek out on this stuff as well. And it's fun to see people engaging with it. We just there's always just so much stuff that we write and create and want to talk about as we discovered and learned and want to share that information with our community. Mm. You know, I, I first got onto your product even before I went to London and it was, like I said to you earlier, is that um, through my master's that I'm doing, I was doing uh, an assignment on um, like cognition. So that's how I first came across yours because I was doing in, um, research into individual ingredients and how to optimise cognition and, um, you know, decline of cognition as well. So it came up there. So it's well, very well known. It's out there. And then I saw you at the summit and I was like, oh, there you are. Let's try it. Let's do it. <laughs> um, so as we're wrapping up, Ben, I just wanted to ask you what your, um, your best neurohacking tips would be for um, anyone out there or even what you do yourself that you can't live without on a daily basis. Sure. Um, I'm a big fan of setting your day correctly. So starting your day how you want to start it. And this is very timely and even more important than ever, especially with Mm. the the virus and and the state of the world and things happening. So starting it with the intentions you want to have during the day. And for me, this is getting up and immediately meditating. So stopping doing everything else, especially um, avoiding the phone or media or computer, just like not turning on any screens to have anything coming at you. But Mm. starting my day, 
just pausing, breathing in that meditation to clear my head, to slow myself down, to set the tone for what I want to do that day. If I, the reverse of that, especially now, and I'm 100% guilty of this as well, just during this time of flipping over, grabbing your phone and just turning on the news to see what craziness is happening in the world mm. or what's happening on social media. And you're just, your brain and your attention span is just hijacked by all this stuff coming in and all these things. And it sets the tone for me to be in that responsive, um, this reactive mode versus if I can start the day in meditation, I'm calm and I'm clear. I have a clear head of what I want to do. I usually journal a bit after that, just to have this flood of ideas and creativity coming in. And my whole day is just more calm and centered and driven the way I want to drive it versus being driven for me. So mm. it, it's all about having uh, the responsibility to control that myself. I and mean, again, this is one of those areas I do really well in, but still struggle with some time to time. And now, especially during this time, remind myself that I need to get off my phone first thing in the morning because um, none of the information coming in uh, is helpful. It's, it doesn't, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's not immediate. It doesn't mean need. And all these things, especially now with the stress of just unknown of what's happening in the world, all these things come in and just hijack your parasympathetic nervous system and you're immediately in that fight or flight system and your breathing goes shallow. Your the brain fog comes in because you're in that stress and you're just, you're just tightening and shrinking up and then the rest of my day feels like that. It feels like I'm fighting to get out of that versus if I can set the intention for what I want to get done that day, start it in a peaceful, calm way, have order about it, the rest of my day feels easy and just simple and I can capture and tackle and do the things I want to do, but I don't feel like I'm being drug around or, you know, just having that sense hijack. So that's like one of my biggest um, mm. neuro hacks that I do is just setting the intention for your day, owning it, taking responsibility for it and building that for how you want to do it. And that again is my lesson or my, my preaching for this virus, especially as you're home and have either nothing to do and or everything to do plus take care of kids it's now more important than ever to take control over that and set your schedule so if you have to work from home and you have kids like setting a time for these are my focused hour works hours for work this is my time for lunch with the kids this is my time for play with the kids like setting yourself up to where you're not just running around the house trying to do zoom meetings while kids are screaming and all this stuff. <laughs> it's been a, a fun challenge for my wife and I as well because yeah. we're, we're both like training kids to do zoom meetings and running here and there. I think we're becoming very resourceful with what we can do in these times which is good creative absolutely and it's phenomenal to see yes what people are able to do and, and what's getting done I'm tremendously hopeful for what comes out of this. I think there's going to be a ton of learning and a ton of self-evaluation of how we thought the world worked and what, how we need it to work and what problems we actually need to solve and what those mm. look like and how we can tackle those. But it's going to be an interesting time going through it for sure. Oh, absolutely. I, I totally agree with you. I'm very hopeful. And I think it's something really exciting that will come out of this. And um, um, I've got little butterflies thinking about it, you know, what it's going to be meaning for the collective and for the world in that we've already connected so big and so wide already that just yep. through just this and where before we, we weren't, we were so separated around the world. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm positive about it too. So yeah. it's good one to hear. Yeah. One of the nice things this has showed us is just how connected we all are. Mm. It's something we always knew and took for granted and didn't, uh, resonate with or acknowledge enough I think in our lives I think that especially this long time away from each other there's just definitely a longing for to have connection back uh, with people to have be able to yeah. hug people be able to connect and have dinner Absolutely. with them all those kind of things we're, we're longing for and missing it, it, it will be a, a joyous time once this is all done but it's a nice reminder to remember how small a planet we live on how connected we all are and, and what that's what that is and what that looks like for our future ahead. Mm, yeah, absolutely. It, it means so much more. Um, it means so much more than we used to. You know, now it's beautiful that we can actually meet together and and talk and see each other, and we're across the other side. Of, I know. You know? <laughs> and it far. means so much to connect, you know, face to face, and actually have a good chat, even more so now than ever. Yeah. I know. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. So that's the positive side of all this yes we have amazing technology like we spoke about earlier that make all this neurohacking stuff possible it makes all these things possible too mm. like all my friends from around the country around the world 
that I've been having these regular Zoom meetings with just to see faces and hear voices and connect with people because well yeah well we're it's very important we physically isolate make sure that we are still spiritually and connect, connected to one another and emotionally mm. and be able to talk and chat and get to see each other's faces and see uh, express that and ha and re remain or yeah maintain that part of our humanity throughout this mm, absolutely absolutely all right ben i will not take up any more of your time um thank you so much for coming on i really You're appreciate very welcome. it yeah and um, i hope to talk to you soon again about any more of well, the, the products that are coming up we may have another chat i think that would be exciting to hear all about that absolutely would love that wonderful thanks ben mm -hmm.